lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this beautiful inexpensive starburst wall art if you're new here please click the subscribe button and join the family i got my inspiration from this champagne fire wall art on z gallery's website and from another youtuber named dazzling design by dennis i'm going to leave a link to her video in the description box the wall art on Z Gallery cost between $300 to $500, but I was able to make mine with $30, so it's affordable if you want to try it out. I used this 16 by 20 canvas that I got from Joanne. I also used some paint, glitters, glue, and brushes, and I also used the ruler and pencil to outline my lines. I painted my canvas with this white paint. I really don't like working on plain canvas. I like to have something like a base that I work on. So I'm using this white paint as my base. You can actually skip this step and start working on the plain canvas if you don't mind. I marked out where I want the middle of my artwork to be. Then I went ahead to use this pencil and ruler to start drawing out my lines. You want to try and make sure the space between your lines are equal. You don't have to measure the space to get them to be equal. You just want to try your best, you know, and make them equal just like I did. You can use any of these two glues to trace the line. I personally use the tacky glue. And you can get both glues from the dollar store. I also use this bamboo stick with pointed tip and a piece of tissue or paper towel. I started tracing the lines with the glue. And I tried as much as possible to get a straight line. After I traced the first line, I didn't start tracing the second line from the middle of the artwork. I started close to the middle of the artwork. This is because some of the lines are not going to start from the middle anymore. And you don't want to trace every single line from the middle because this is going to leave a lot of glue in the middle of the artwork and this is going to make your work look very tacky. So you want to start some of them close to the middle and not directly from the midpoint. Another thing I want you guys to note is, don't make the opening on the bottle too small so you don't have to be squeezing so hard to get the glue out. Just make it a little bit wide to be able to get the glue out easily, but not too wide that the glue will be pouring because this is going to make your work look tacky. Also, try and keep your hand as steady and as straight as possible. I used the bamboo stick to remove the glue in between the lines. I also used it to remove the excess glue. This is going to make your work look very neat and not tacky. You don't want to do this when you are done tracing the whole line because the first lines you drew are going to dry up before you are done. So you want to do this after every 10 to 20 lines. Please be careful while doing this so you don't spoil the lines you already traced. I use this glitter silver paint and this metallic gold paint to get the exact shade of gold I want. I couldn't get the exact shade I wanted at Walmart because Walmart ran out of paint because of the lockdown. So I played around with these two colors to get the exact shade I want. If you can't get the exact shade you actually need for your painting, you can just play around with a few colors to see if you can get that exact shade. Another reason I use the glitter silver is because I wanted my painting to have some glitters all over it. So I decided to go for the glitter silver instead of, you know, the normal silver paint. The glue is dried now. So I went ahead to paint over it with the gold and silver paint I mixed. And I left it to air dry. When this painting dried, I noticed that the gold was too much. I didn't like the shade of gold it gave me. So I decided to paint it a second time. 
This time around, I added a layer of silver to the gold paint just to get the exact shade I want. This is it after the paint dried. This is so beautiful. I feel like you can actually hang this on your wall without adding the extra things I did to it. Can you guys see the glitter coming through? This is from the silver paint I used. I got that silver paint from Walmart. It's a glitter acrylic silver paint. This is the last part of this artwork. I used the gold glitter paper towel. This paper towel is going to help keep the glitters in place so it doesn't get everywhere. I also used a foam brush. I'm using this foam brush because of the tip. It is going to help keep the mud porch in place. Now I poured some mud porch into the space I want to work with. I took some mud porch with a foam brush and I used it to trace the line down to the middle of the art. The pointed part of this foam brush is going to help keep the mud porch in place. Please just keep a steady hand when you are doing this so you don't get the mud porch all over the place. And if you make a mistake and get it in places you don't want it to be, you just want to take a rag or a paper towel to wipe it out because you don't want glitter getting on that spot and messing up your work. Now I started pouring my glitter on the places I applied the mud porch. After adding the glitters, I counted out five space and added another glitter. I used something to mark out the fifth space so I don't mistakenly add mud porch to it. What I'm counting is the space between the lines, not the lines itself. The number of line or space you want to jump depends on you. It depends on how close or separated you want your glitters to be. So I just repeated the same step. Put the mud podge into the line. Use my foam brush to apply the mud podge in the line. And I tried to keep my hand steady so I don't get it everywhere. Then I went ahead to add the glitters immediately before the mud podge dries. I was done adding the glitters there was a little space in the middle of the artwork so i decided to add mud podge to it and use glitter to cover it when i was sure the mud podge is dry i went ahead to add more mud podge on top of the glitters this is going to help keep the glitters in place so that they don't fall off when you hang them and don't worry about the white color from the mud podge it's going to clear off when it dries <laughs> 